Hi, so glad you're here. Come and join me. I'm gonna do the cover of this art journal that I made for my granddaughter. And, um, and then at another time, I'll do a flip through. But um, this, this video is just gonna be to cover it. Cause that, you know, it doesn't look too good like this right now. <laughs> I went through all, all of my scraps of uh, materials and picked out all the materials that I thought I might be able to use. And um, I have a lot of different things here. So um, it's gonna be sort of like a collage, but with material. <laughs> so um, that's what we're gonna do today. I got the idea to do this type of co this type of cover from um, Mary Beth Shaw from Stencil Girl. She does a video of covering her um, art journals. And um, that's really where I got the idea from. The other idea of um, staining the ribbon, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take some ribbon because I don't have the color that I need. I wanna make it pink. So um, I got this idea to do the ribbon or to stain the material <clears throat> to get the color that I want from uh, Louisa Heisel, I think that's her name. But anyway, I'm going to try to find those videos for you and um, I will put them in the description box down below my video so that you can look those up and um, get it from the source. <laughs> I'm just make, kind of making this up, but at the same time, get the idea from uh, other great artists um, <clears throat> which are who are much better than I am but anyway that's what I'm gonna do I didn't go out to buy anything extra for this I'm just using materials that I have and I've had a big box of scrap materials in my closet for the longest time for years because uh, I've always been crafty that way and always making things from other things and my um, mother-in-law has given me she's also a very crafty lady and she has also given me a lot of her extra materials or let me go through her materials so that um, I can pick out and have some for myself so anyway that's where I got all this stuff from <laughs> so I'm gonna start by using this distressed Tim um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide and this is like an ink and so you need this and you need some water to activate it so here <clears throat> see if this will work you kind of scrunch up your material and then kind of rub it on there there we go so there we go i got some pink in there and i'm gonna put some water spray it Put 
journal. I really like this one, this piece right here. Would make this my focal piece. Um, it pretty much takes up this whole. Oh, I forgot another thing. Glue. I'm using um, pH neutral PVA um, glue. And I'm just going to pour a little bit in this little cup here. And um, like that. Top back on so it doesn't dry out. And then um, I'm also going to just water it down just a little bit. This is, I just have a little bit of water in this little one, little thing here. So I put a little bit of water in there and then mix it up. Take my little stick. Sort of too watery, isn't it? Let me add a little bit more. glue it'll it'll um when it dries it dries clear so um okay this right here is my favorite piece of all of this that i drew up and i'd like for it to be the the focal point um and i like i found i found this in my little stash and i thought that was so pretty and I um, think I'm going to put that on the bottom. Might even let it, I don't know what I would do, what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do it here or here. Not sure. Let me see what else I have. Oh yeah, I'm going to put, um, I need to, uh, I like this little polka dot. I should put this under this, that. And under that, and then put this. thing and I can always go back and cut it <clears throat> afterwards that way I make sure I have now, this one doesn't go all the way around so I'll have to add some more I think I do have some more of that material okay let me just go ahead and just cut that For me, some people will just start pasting things on, and, but I like to kind of figure it out first before I commit it to glue. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to use of this. So I'm going to put it to the side. All right, so now let me get some more of that polka dot. I have to. Uh, Get it to go to the other side. This poke dot here. Okay, I need just a little bit more.
do that. And then um, I'm going to have this. too much. Get it. Let me get this up here some more. Okay. okay just rip that up. There <laughs> uh, we go. Where's that piece? Okay. It's a piece here that I want to put right here, and I'm going to put her name on it. And this one's long enough to go all the way around, so that's good. All right. So this one, I'm going to put her name on that. Get my box of stencils. I know I have stencils of um, lettering, so go ahead and stencil her letters. I mean, her name. I'm going to stencil her name right here. Fancier lettering, and now then she won't be able to read it. She's only five years old, <laughs> so just the block letters is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let me just mark the pencil. I'm gonna mark um, where I am here so that. put it in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half and this will be the mid and this will be centered. Um, so I'm going to put a little mark right there. Okay. So this is the center. So her name is um, E L L A. So um, what you do is you take the name and count how many letters. One, two, three, four. So divided by two, that's two. So I take two letters. This is the middle. So the two L's are going to go on either side of this mark. called the uh, rouge okay you don't need too much I always get my little sponge okay so where am I here Gotta be 
be careful when you're doing this not to um, get into the other letters because then it's going to show up on your piece. So um, sometimes it's a good idea to put tape. I think I might even do that. I don't know. It's too late. I should have thought of that before. <laughs> but I think I'll do it with my next couple two letters because that way it won't get into your other letter. I mean, your, it, it won't get on your piece. Okay, it's my E. E, L, L, and then A. Take that off. her name and um, I'm gonna fill this in so that it doesn't look like a stencil so much <laughs> so I'm just gonna kind of I'm just using this as my guide and I'm gonna, um, connect the little pieces here This will go right here. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna see if my other ribbon is done. It's pretty dry. So that's gonna be pretty. Um, it's not really dry. So I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer and I'll be right back. All right, now it's dry. So, divide it in half. Divide it in half like that. This part in the middle of it is gonna go down. Connect with the back. Pieces 
pieces here. This is pretty nice too. Got a lot of lace pieces. I'll get back to lacy pieces. This green is really pretty too. Ah, so many choices. I don't know what to do. Okay, let's see what I can do with this somehow. Maybe have small pieces that I can put. This one with the pearls, that's pretty. Maybe put it next to her name, maybe. That'd be pretty. Let's see if I have another one. Just cut the swirly thing out. I'm not sure if I want that or not. Anything else I can put? This is a piece without the pearls, but I think I like the pearls. <laughs> I think she would like the pearls too. things on there here. Next 
thing now is this. before I just cut that extra piece off. Alright, so now... Put this in half. Which means that this needs to be pasted down first.
let this part dry so that <laughs> this glue is like extra strong again like the like like the hot glue I was working with the other day all right so let's see let me go ahead and put these two things down see that the um, glue has dried clear although I can see that I skipped that I missed a little spot here so I'm gonna have to think of something to to put on the edge here <laughs> I missed a little spot you have to make sure that your edges are covered when you're doing this all right well let me go ahead and start working on the back so far. I'll just 
make it the same as this other one. Same length. Like we did the other one, other side, and put this on top of that. There. Okay. Just the same, and then put this the same. Edges are covered. Okay, that looks pretty too. All right, I think I will do that.
best thing to do is to let that dry. Well, actually, I'm going to try and fix this bottom piece here. so glad you joined me for this little adventure. Until next time, bye.